Today I'm going to be taking a look at one of my favorite accessories in my shop and that is the Corkboard Mini from ShiftingLands.com. Hey guys, welcome back to another Black Magic Craft Reviews Day Tuesday. It is no secret that I am a fan of all of the jigs and wonderful accessories that ShiftingLands.com makes. I use their Guider Pro on my Proxon all the time, as well as their other jigs and accessories. But one of the things they make that doesn't get talked about very much is the cork board. And this is one of my favorite things at my desk. It is so incredibly handy and useful for miniature painters and even for painting small bits of terrain. So I wanna share with you guys what it's all about and take a look at it and you can see just how useful this simple little item is. Before we jump in and take a close look at it, I do wanna say that Shifting Lands has not sponsored this video. I do not get any sort of commission from them for purchases. It's simply a company that I really love. It's run by a guy that I really like and respect. I love his tools and that's all there is to it. Let's take a look. So here it is, the Corkboard Mini. As you can see, it's very dirty and painted. It's been well used and well loved in my shop. I know I got a lot of viewers who are new to the hobby, so I don't wanna make any assumptions about knowledge. What is this for? It is common practice in miniature painting to use corks or bottles or some sort of handheld holder to hold a miniature while painting it. When you're painting, uh, it can be very awkward to hold it by the base. Your hand will cramp up, you will smudge the paint and all around it's just not a good way to go. So you wanna put it on something that's more ergonomic and keeps your grubby fingers off the actual miniature. So corks are a great way to do that. You take a cork, you take some sticky poster tack or blue tack or hot glue or whatever you want and you stick the miniature to the cork now you have an excellent holder for painting minis. So now you know why there are corks. So you could go out and get a bunch of corks or pill bottles or whatever for painting minis and that's fine. But this simple product, what it does is it delivers to you a whole bunch of corks in a tray. And the tray is really what's important here because you can place your miniatures in the tray and transport them. So let's take a whole bunch of miniatures and pretend like you had a big project on the go where you painted an army or painted a bunch of goblins or you just have a bunch of random minis that you're working on. So this little board keeps them, one, organized on your work surface at your desk. So if you have you know, mini projects that has taken months, like some of these minis I've had sitting on my desk for a very long time because they just never seem to end up getting finished. There's always something more important. This board here allows you to organize your minis, put them aside and have them at the ready. But here's the most important thing. Often you need to take your miniatures outside of your workspace to spray them either with a spray primer, a clear coat or whatever. You really don't want to be carrying them one by one. You don't really want to be putting them on some flat tray, balancing them and walking them because they will fall. And I'm telling you, before I owned this, I had that happen. I had a miniature I had just completed. I had it on a flat surface. I was carefully carrying it to the basement to spray it with clear coat. I was walking and I lost my balance a little bit and the mini fell to the ground onto the concrete, sword broke off, the still wet clear coat had a bunch of dust stuck in it. It was awful and I learned my lesson there that I needed something like this. So this way you can put all your minis in a board and transport them around. You can carry them like this, you can twist them, turn them, fall. And really that's what this thing does. That's really it. It's so simple, but it's so brilliant and so useful. It's not just for transporting. It also helps you when you're spraying. You can put this on some sort of surface, 
hit all your minis with the clear coat, turn it, spray, turn it, spray, turn it, spray, and you can spray a whole bunch of miniatures all in one go. This is laser cut out of MDF. It doesn't actually come gray like this. The reason it's gray is because I use this tray when I'm doing spray primer. And as you can tell, I like to prime things in gray. This is the corkboard mini. There's a couple different sizes available. There's one that's even more mini that I think is about that big for really small projects. Then there's this one. Then there's, I think it's called the corkboard pro, which is bigger. And then there's the corkboard 41 that is even bigger yet. So there are four sizes available to suit everybody's needs. There is also a brand new version that's a circle and it's pretty fancy. You can spin it and rotate it. So if it's sitting on the table, there's a little dial and you can spin the thing as you spray or whatever you want to do. That's, in my opinion, a little bit overkill, but it's definitely neat and probably very handy for people who do a lot of airbrushing and don't want to get their hands in the way there. Five options available, really useful product. Even if you're not painting a lot of miniatures, this is great for small terrain and dungeon dressing, anything that's really small and you don't want to be handling. This is a great way to house and transport tiny pieces for painting. So I will put a link in the video description to shiftinglands.com where you can order this. Again, they haven't sponsored this video. I don't get a commission. I just really like all of the products that he makes. It's a small independent company, guy running it out of his garage in the Netherlands, making high quality, super useful stuff. It's products made by a terrain builder for terrain builders and mini painters. He knows what we need, he knows what works. The only downside is that the products do come out of the Netherlands, which means that shipping is fairly expensive. However, it's basically flat rate shipping. So if you just order one item, it's not really worth it. But if you're thinking of going all in on a couple of different jigs and whatnot, then if you get a couple of them at a time, it's totally worth the shipping price. And I know all of you new Proxon users out there got to get your hands on your guider pros. This I use all the time. I've reviewed it. I've assembled one on the channel. And if you're looking to bulk out your order and make the shipping more worthwhile, I think one of the cork boards is an excellent item to add to your purchase. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Are there any other shifting lands, tools or accessories or products that you would like to see me review before you put your hard-earned cash into purchasing one of them? Let me know in the comments. I will see you again on Friday for the next episode. Cheers.